Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another shooting video. As promised, I've got the Spanish mo model or Star Model BM handgun. This is just the uh, Star, which is kind of a clone of the 1911 or uh, designed heavily after the 1911 in 9mm. And this is the shortened version that was used in the 1970s. It's a very nice little pistol. We took a couple practice rounds out of it last winter and I really liked it, but I only had one magazine that day. Forgot the other one, so I got a couple today so we can do some mag changes and stuff and kind of show you what these are capable of. These are really cheap. At the time of me making this video, these are like $200 on AIM Surplus. And they're, I mean, they've got a lot of them. They shoot nine millimeter. The magazines are pretty readily available now. And uh, yeah, for a home defense gun on a budget, that's why this uh, this was pretty much up in the top of the list for that other video that I made. So yeah, the, the one thing I didn't like about these is the magazine safety, which is something you can just take the grips apart and remove it and it doesn't affect the functionality of the gun, but you can drop the hammer without a magazine in there. And the mags will actually drop free because the magazine safety will hold them in there. So you gotta kind of press the button and then manually pull the mag out. This way they'll drop out. So that aside, I'll make another video on the gun itself, kind of the history behind it, but this one's gonna be about having some trigger time. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna shoot this thing a little bit more than we did in that other video. Uh, we've got a third shooter too, who's uh, gonna be taking a ride on this for the first time. Get his input and everything, should be fun. This thing is so easy to control. The only thing that sucks is the mag capacity, but. <coughs> Damn. Now I got it back. It's like right, a little we'll 1911. What? It's like a little 1911. Yeah, it is, it's pretty nice. Oh, just had a malfunction. Oh, it threw me off. I'm fucked now. That malfunction threw my whole rhythm off. Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta pass this off. Here goes Andy Man with the uh, BM. Same problem. Uh, Drop the like mag racket. Double double feed there. Did it, was it a failure? Uh, that's fin, a failure no, to fair, extract. Fair to extract. Yep. Okay. Noted. Okay. Yeah, that's what happened to me. It must be that mag, probably. We'll have to watch that. No idea. Thank you, assistant. Again. Again. That's really weird. Maybe I have to replace the extractor. Nice. Yeah. Well, besides the, the little extractor issue, what do you think of that thing? No, I like it. It's like a little 1911. Yep. All right. We'll let the uh, we'll let the third new shooter on and uh, see what he thinks. Try aiming at the center one. There you go. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's only eight rounds. Yeah. Single stack. The 1911 is the best gun in the world. <laughs> it's outstanding mag capacity. <laughs> there you go. Ah. 
Just when you start doing good, you're fucking out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that malfunction. Drop the... Then you could finish the rest of those off. The rest of those, I mean two. <laughs> That's it. All right. So, what were your? What do you think about that? Well, uh, for not shooting too many handguns, I gotta say that. Uh, I could uh, put that in one of my uh, gun cabinets. Yeah, it's it's not bad. They're they're yeah they retail for about two hundred bucks right now. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of them, and I was I was a pretty big fan when we first started shooting these. So all right, we're gonna load up the rest of the mags and uh, just do some more trigger time. All right, so I'm gonna do that that little defensive drill with we back up and create distance uh, between you and the target. Hopefully, I don't have that malfunction that's been happening, but uh, we'll see. So I'll go from here and... Yep, we had the malfunction, so... Let me actually, uh... We'll try that one more time. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Very easy to control. Like, yeah, that was actually really good. I'm really, really happy with that. Got the target knocked over, so we're, I think I at least hit half of those, right? Oh yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty effective, and for whatever reason, I think it's because of the weight of this thing, it just doesn't have a lot of recoil. Would you agree? No, no. Like, for how small it is, you'd think a 9mm pistol this small would have a little bit more snap, but it doesn't. So, alright, we'll wrap this video up. Overall, I thought this was great. Uh, we got some more trigger time with this. Do a little bit of a uh, different kind of shooting with it. I totally... Highly 100% recommend getting at least one of these. Uh, $200, that's, you can't even get a 22 rifle nowadays for less than that. So this is a great little handgun. Eight rounds with one of the two for home defense. Get some decent home defense ammo. This is a great affordable option and it's collectible. So, all right, if you're new to the channel or if, even if you're not, make sure you subscribe and um, check out the Patreon in the description. Go click on that link and for a dollar a month, you can help support this channel. and keep the ground laden with freedom seeds aka brass and uh, that just helps offset the cost and i'd really appreciate that uh if not just subscribe and keep watching these videos we got more to come thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time